This one is so much fun, you guys. This is one of my best watched videos that I get is dupes videos, and I have some great dupes for you this time. I am super excited about it, you guys. And before we get started, a special welcome to everyone that is new here, and I hope that you do decide to subscribe, be a part of our family. Don't forget to hit the bell next to the subscribe button so that you can be notified of any future videos I upload right when I upload them. And also I wanna say a special thanks to everybody that has been with me for such a long time. I love you guys so much and you mean so much to me and you guys know how much I appreciate all of your love and your support. And before we get into anything, I can link my shirt. It's such a cute shirt. It's got this crochet part on the top and then it's a cold shoulder, cold shoulder. Every time I go to say that, I say shoulder. I don't know why, but it's cold shoulder top. You guys, does anybody know of a really good strapless bra that's not uncomfortable, but stays really good and keeps the girls up? If you do, let me know in the comment section below because I've been really enjoying these tops lately, but I need a better bra. So we'll do all that in the comment section below. Let's get into these fantastic dupes that I have found for you guys today. So I'm gonna make you wait until the very end to see my very favorite of everything that I have in here. But we're gonna start off with one that I love and that is from Fenty Beauty. You guys have seen this ad nauseum on the internet, on YouTube beauties. And this one is, which one is this? This one is Sweet Mouth. This one has a just a very tiny sheen of pink in it, but it has that little bit of shimmer in it. It is just so pretty. These are beautiful glosses. I love the fragrance of them. It is a very light, um, kind of almost a peach smell to them, but at the same time, it's not overpowering. It goes away very quickly. And then the dupe that I found is from the new Ludacris Lips from Milani. And this is their new ones that they just came out with, I don't know, a month or two ago. This one is in Luster Light. And you guys, this is so close. It is so, so close. And it is one that has, it might have just a tiny bit more of a little bit of the champagne in it than um, Sweet Mouth does. But you guys, they're really, really close. This one has less of a fragrance in it. It's kind of just a tiny, tiny hint of a vanilla fragrance in it. So even though they don't, you know, look exactly like in the two, they're just such a good dupe for her formula. And it's also great on the way that they lay across the lips and their wear time. And I love them. So it's not too sticky and it's not too um, thick and it's not thin, so it's not gonna go away really quickly. So love that. Okay, another one, I think I may have put this in another dupes video. It really does deserve repeating, and that is from the Dazzle Lip Glosses from MAC, and this one is in Via Veneto, and this is so pretty as a topper as well. It has this gorgeous pink, kind of along the lines of a blue pink um, color to it. It is just, it's so pretty and I love these formulas of the Dazzle Glosses because they are um, that again that perfect blend of not being too sticky but not being so thin that they're going to wear off so quickly. And so Via Veneto has been a color that I have loved for a really long time but this gloss from LA Girl and I actually did just put this in a 10 under 10 video with another one but these are the holographic toppers and this one is in Flashing Pearl and I think these glosses are so gorgeous. And this is, this is an identical dupe, you guys. You cannot tell the difference. There's no way to tell the difference in those two. They just, they flash the same amount of holographic um, pink with a little bit of cast of purple and just the bright light to it. And I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little bit of this on my lips so you can see how pretty and how quickly that just transforms your lips into being super pouty, just gives that bit of light right there to the center and just makes them look so gorgeous. So yes, MAC and LA Girl, and I think you're saving about 20 bucks or more with that. Now the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer in Tantastic. This was all over the internet, I don't know, a couple years ago, and there's a reason. This is a beautiful, beautiful bronzer. I've had mine so long that the actual scent has gone out of it, but I do have a little bit of a divot in there. I love this bronzer. It is a really good representation between cool and 
warm without being too orange. I really love it on my skin. It just blends out and it blurs out so easily on the skin. Look at that, isn't it gorgeous? So you can see what it is in the pan. So if you're deeper, you can really build that up if you have a lot deeper skin tone than I do, which everybody does because I, everybody knows how pale I am. But I really love it. The, there was a fragrance in it at one time that smelled like coconuts, very hint of it now. But what I really like about it is how blendable it is, how easy to wear it is, and it's very neutral. So it doesn't interfere with you looking too warm or too red or too pink or whatever. I had that in a dupes video a while ago, quite a while ago actually, but I had put in the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, which it is, it's really close, but the color I couldn't quite get as close as the silky matte ones are from Milani. And this one is in number two, Sunkissed. This one has the same thing. It's that it's nice spot of neutral. And so it goes on the same way. It's very silky and it's very easy to build up. And it's and very it's soft across the skin. But look at those two. You can't even hardly tell that there is a difference between either one. I built up the Marc Jacobs one a little bit more than I built this one up. So I'll go ahead and do that. But really it is just, they're so close. They're so, so close. The thing that I love more about the Milani one than the Marc Jacobs one is that I feel like I can um, really blend that out just a little bit better. The Marc Jacobs one is very blendable, very creamy, but so is this silky one from Milani. But this is the one that is that neutral, pretty look in between you know, the two. So I love the Marc Jacobs so much and I'm so glad to be able to bring you guys a dupe because it was the craze um, not very long ago. Everybody was so in love with that. And I know that I still reach for it all the time, but it's nice to have something that is a little bit more cost effective. This one is really fun for me because I had this referred to, to me from one of you subscribers about the Marc Jacobs. This is their uh, concealer and I can't remember what it's called exactly right now, but this is an extremely creamy formula and it's really good if you have mature eyes, you know, mature under eyes that are crepey because it doesn't dry out. It's just a creamy, creamy formula. And this color is kind of along the lines of being just a little, little bit more yellow and I really have been enjoying this. But the other day I did pick up the Almay Stick Concealer and that is what I actually have on today. Now the colors aren't the same you guys, but this formula is really, really close. Now this is not even gonna look like it's anything on my skin because it's such, such a close match to my skin, but I will say that the Marc Jacobs one, it does feel a little bit more tacky than the Almay one does. So what you're gonna have is you're gonna have the two products that are so close and blending them out is such a dream on the eyes. And stick foundations, I used to love stick foundations back in the day when that's really all that we had was the cover girl, remember that? But I really have been enjoying the Marc Jacobs one and I wanted to find a dupe for you guys and I really feel like this Almay one comes really close. And like I said, the colors aren't the same, but that formula and the way it performs underneath the eyes um, definitely is very, very close. And since this is so close to my coloring, all I have to do is just put that on there and then I just very, very lightly pat it out and it is so pretty, you guys. It just takes hardly anything to be able to just make those dark circles disappear. It's so light, so airy, so easy to work with. And I'm really loving it. So definitely if you can find a color to try, I think mine is in the, the light or fair light, one of the two. So yeah, one that I thought was a really good dupe for, between Almay and Marc Jacobs. Okay, here's the last one, you guys. And the one that I am the most excited about. And it is the Hourglass Veil Mineral Powder. This is an absolute cult classic with everybody. And there's a reason. It is a beautiful powder, you guys. It's just this gorgeous powder that when it sits on the skin, it sits on the skin like silk. And it just gives this gorgeous blurring finish to the skin. And I wish I could explain to you the feel of this particular powder. It's so silky and so lightweight and that blurring property that it has. And there's a reason that everybody loves it and people continue to buy it. But you guys, I kid you not, I did not expect this one bit, but I sent away for some singles from Sydney Grace and then I sent away for her powder. This one is the Cloud 9 setting powder and this one is in the fair one. So this one is actually just white, you guys. It doesn't have any color to it, but the light would have a little bit of color to it. It is pretty much just translucent, but this formula is identical. 
And the way that that blurs out on my skin and the way that that brightens on my skin is identical. And so I got to thinking, well, why in the world are they so close? Why what is this ethereal look coming from these specific powders where I've been searching and searching over and over again for a powder that would be this good? And I finally found it in Sydney Grace. Plus the amounts are so much more. There is so much more in the Sydney Grace one. I'll throw all this up on the, up on the screen as I'm talking. It's because the ingredient in this is mica instead of talc. Mica is the powder that they use in both of these. The reason that the, the ethereal look is there is because in, unlike talc, mica has these tiny, tiny shimmer properties to them. Not, I shouldn't say shimmer. It's just these tiny reflective properties to them that really help blur out the skin. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of this and I'm just gonna show you what it does to the skin because I am feeling a little bit warm. The space in here is just a little bit humid. So I'm just gonna blur out this whole area and show you guys how beautiful this powder is. And it is just gorgeous. It is just, look at it. It's just so perfecting, so blurring. And it is just so micro fine. It couldn't be a more spot on dupe if I tried and I didn't really try. <laughs> I just stumbled across it, but I'm so glad that I did. You guys, kudos to Sydney Grace. If you have not tried their products yet, um, I'm about to try their blushes, their highlighters, everything I can get my hands on because I haven't found a single product from them. Well, eyeshadows and the powder so far is all I've tried, but I haven't found anything that I am not absolutely in love with and I cannot wait to see where this company goes and how they do because this is next level cosmetics without breaking the bank, breaking your pocketbook. And I just think it's so gorgeous. So I'm really excited about that. And if you were to walk into the drugstore, get something from Pacifica, NYX, L'Oreal, Revlon, they're all gonna be about the same price, but they're not gonna be this quality and they're not going to be as beautiful of a product as this either. So I hope you did enjoy that. I was really excited, couldn't wait to share it with you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Please give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions about any of the products, let me know. Let me know if you've tried any of these and if they've worked really good for you or not. Hopefully you are all healthy, happy, staying safe, staying sanitized, staying hydrated in the summer heat that we have here on this side of the hemisphere. And I love you guys very much. I'll catch you all in my next video. Bye guys.